cars are not fueled by water, they will probably never be fueled by water. Now we have a good start for our dry cell project. We have a backing, we have a plate, still need the whole O-ring. Under O ring, another plate over that, a couple more neutral plates, and just had it. Right, here we go. Bolt it all up, get our holes drilled in our acrylic. We have enough parts to assemble one or two dry cells. And here is our finished prototype dry cell, which I'm going to call Mini Me. Very small HHO device. See right here, we got bubbles coming out. We're a little leaky right here because I have a very crude filling bottle. The moment it'll work for testing. Here's what our finished dry cell looks like. Notice the O ring. Right where I put it. Same for here. I wasn't going to put an O ring back here, but I didn't have enough room to put the wire hook up, so I had to put an O ring in here just so I had enough spacing to put the negative wire. The plate I had in here did not have holes in it. Now I had to rearrange stuff slightly. And just using some steel plates and O-rings Notice we have one, two, three, four, five, six O rings. And I had to re, you know, I only bought so many O rings. I'll get some more. But I could only run one, two, three neutral plates at the moment. So we have negative. We have a positive and one, two, three neutral plates in the middle. And our output is pretty good for such a small little unit. My uh, cover here got trashed, so I had to build a new one, but I have lots of plastic on hand with the holes already pre-drilled. Notice the output's not too bad for such a little device. These O-rings... These O-rings are only about two inches in diameter 
and all I had to do was just smush all I had to do was just smush them together just a little bit to fit on the odd shaped plate and you notice we just have two holes one for water coming in, one for water and hydrogen going out Notice right here we have hydrogen bubbling. There's a slight pressure. You'll notice that the uh, air pocket right here is actually a gas pocket. It forms as soon as I turn the unit on. Oops, we'll disconnect it. And see it fill up and now we'll plug it back in Our reservoir bottle is leaking because I just slapped it together just for a quick test run. And you'll, but you'll notice there are no leaks coming from the dry cell. Now we're going to try something. I'm going to bypass all the plates and just go to one, one negative, one positive. So I'll get the other plates in there and I will give it a whirl on my bike or something. I'm using a very heavy solution this time. Very heavy baking soda solution.